Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about an ongoing storm that is currently bringing a tornado threat, a damaging wind threat, and a major flooding threat to portions of the Carolinas, what this storm is going to do next, and more. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off with the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today, we have a slight risk of severe weather for portions of eastern North Carolina here. Tornado threat for today, you have a 5% chance to see a tornado within 25 miles of any given location in that brown area for the rest of the day. I think one more spin up is going to be uh, kind of on the table here. We have seen one confirmed tornado today and reports of damage, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, but we are going to be looking for more tornadoes to be possible for the rest of the day. So look out for that. Damaging wind threat. You have a 15% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher within 25 miles of any, any given location in the yellow area there. We actually saw some winds going even higher than that we saw some gusts pushing 70 miles per hour earlier today in a pretty dangerous thunderstorm okay i did a community post about it but it was definitely dropping some strong rotation damaging winds and the crazy thing was that it wasn't even really that bad of a storm it was just that damaging wind threat that was the scary part now moving on to tomorrow here we have a marginal risk of severe weather across portions of the northeast new england area tornado threat for tomorrow we do not have one damaging wind threat you have a five percent chance to see uh, 60 mile per hour winds or higher within 25 miles of any given point in the brown there so look out for that and then hail threat for tomorrow we do not have one Tuesday, no severe weather. Wednesday, no severe weather. Thursday, nothing. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, we're not going to see anything for a while after this storm gets out of here, so that's good. Uh, Climate Prediction Center, 6 to 10 day temperature outlook here. This is for December 23rd to 27th. This is going to be your uh, Christmas outlooks, kind of, okay? So we have a large area now across much of the Deep South, the Mississippi Valley, the Ohio Valley, the Midwest, okay? This whole area here in this darkest shade of red has an 80 to 90% chance of see above average temperatures as we're going through what I like to call right now a December heat wave, alright? We're seeing some temperatures get back up into the 60s and the 70s here down in the south, which is pretty crazy, okay? Even though it is the deep south, it's December and we're still getting temperatures that high around the Christmas time. Uh, the entire country is going through a little bit of a heat wave right now, okay? So look out for that 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook here. We have an area across portions of the central and southern plains that has a 60 to 70% chance to see above average precipitation in the darkest shade of green, so look out for that. We're, we could see some excessive rainfall in that area as many storms will move through. Um, 8 to 14 day outlooks here, 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, okay, we're still going to have an area here now in just portions of northern Minnesota that will have an 80 to 90 percent chance to see above average temperatures from the 25th to the 31st, this is your New Year's forecast, so look out for that, it's still going to be much warmer than it usually is up there, alright, we could still be talking about 40s and maybe even some isolated days with 50s into late December, which is pretty crazy, 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook here, we have an area on the west coast, in California that has a 50 to 60 percent chance to see above average precipitation as we will see a low pressure system enter the area that will bring some heavy rainfall so look out for that. Speaking of heavy rainfall, excessive rainfall outlook here, we have a slight risk of flash flooding today over a huge area extending all the way from southeast Georgia back up into portions of the New England region. We have a flash flood emergency in effect here for portions of eastern South Carolina. Okay, so look out for that. We saw some very dangerous flooding earlier that's still ongoing with more heavy rainfall falling in that area, where by the time the storm is done, I mean, we could be looking at isolated areas with over 10 inches of rain in South Carolina. Carolina, which is extremely dangerous, all right? So don't be outside and driving, that's for sure. You need to get to higher ground now if you are included in that flash flood emergency. It is doing a lot of flooding damage, okay? Now moving on to tomorrow, we're going to have another slight risk of flash flooding here, this time just for portions of New England, but still look out. Tuesday, we're going to have a marginal risk of flash flooding here on the West Coast, and then uh, same thing for Wednesday and Thursday. More marginal risks of flash flooding along the West Coast as that low pressure system will enter the area. Finally, watches, warnings, and advisories. Tornado watch in effect here uh, for portions of eastern North Carolina. Like I said, we could see a few more tornadoes today, possibly, but I don't know how likely that really is. We have a lot of flood watches in effect here all along the east coast, so look out for that. Browns are high wind watches and high wind warnings as well as wind advisories. Okay, we're seeing lots of wind gusts over 60 miles per hour with these storms and really just natural winds as well, you know. Uh, this whole area here in the eastern United States has had a pretty 
pretty windy day, so I'd be looking out for that. Purples, winter weather advisories. You could see a few inches of snow over the next 24 to 48 hours. Pinks, winter storm warning. Same thing, but for a lot of snow. As a snow system will start to uh, develop on the back end of this thing and potentially even bring some lake effect snow, so look out for that. New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio do have a few winter storm watches, so you could see some snow in the near future, but not right now, likely. Okay, so look out for that. It's not calm right now. You say at the end of the watches, warnings, and advisory segment, I say, so pretty calm right now but it's not calm so definitely look out but that's gonna be it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure like and subscribe stay safe and i will see you all in the next one peace